Betelgeuse's possible supernova is one of the most captivating cosmic phenomena. Situated in the well-known shoulder of the star grouping Orion, Betelgeuse is a crimson supergiant, nearing the conclusion of its life cycle. Unexpectedly, in 2019, one of the most luminous stars in the heavens began to dim noticeably, being discernible even to the unaided eye. For several months, its radiance diminished to such an extent that numerous watchers speculated whether the star was perishing. Aiming their telescopes at the massive star, researchers were amazed by proof of the significant dimming. It is believed that Betelgeuse is about to explode into a supernova, signaling the end of its stellar existence. But when and why will this cosmic detonation transpire? Could it pose catastrophic impacts for our planet? Betelgeuse, a brilliant scarlet star, is displayed on Orion, the hunter's upper right shoulder. You might know it by its alternate title, Alpha Orionis. Despite the fact that it is the second brightest star in that constellation, following the supergiant Rigel, it continues to intrigue scientists due to its fluctuating behavior and distinctive moniker. In most constellations, the brightest stars, are alpha stars. Although Rigel surpasses it in brightness, Betelgeuse draws attention due to its enormous size and reddish hue. Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, is one of the most well-known stars in the night sky. It is the tenth brightest and the seventh most visible for a large portion of North America, Europe, and Canada. Its Arabic name refers to the giant's armpit, and indicates its position in the group of stars. Betelgeuse sheds approximately one solar mass every 10,000 years, releasing substances uniformly in all directions and generating a nebula surrounding it. This nebula spans 30 astronomical units, or 30 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, and is 250 times more massive than the star itself. At its heart, Betelgeuse's hydrogen nuclei merge under immense gravitational pressure, creating helium and emitting radiation and warmth in the process. As the star depletes its hydrogen, it starts fusing helium and carbon as substitutes. When helium runs out, neon combines with carbon to yield iron. The merging of iron fails to produce energy, leading the star to cave in under its own gravity and ultimately burst into a supernova. Among the universe's most forceful explosions, depending on age and developmental phase, stars emit illumination in varied wavelengths, from the vivid blue of youthful stars to the red of elder ones, based on the ancient stargazer Ptolemy, Betelgeuse exhibited a hue he intriguingly labeled as ruddy. Nevertheless, early Chinese astronomers remarked that Betelgeuse looked yellow, hinting that it may once have been a yellow supergiant. Even if they only last 10 million years, massive stars quickly exhaust all of their hydrogen, resulting in an early death. There's no question that Betelgeuse is in its concluding phase. While our sun still possesses more than 5 billion years of life, Betelgeuse is approaching its final moments, meaning it could someday erupt in a supernova. However, the precise schedule of this occurrence is still unknown. Betelgeuse experiences two cycles of brightening and fading, one happening every five years and persisting for around 100 days. It's assumed that the swelling and shrinking of its outer layers during these rhythms prompt alterations in its diameter and typical surface temperature. Widespread interest in Betelgeuse grew during its unpredictable conduct in 2019 and 2020 when its light faded dramatically before recovering briefly. This strange activity could be a sign that the star is about to undergo its final transformation. According to some scientists, comprehensive analysis of Betelgeuse dates back to the first century BC, yet the origin of its dimming remains an absolute enigma. Betelgeuse has been spotted moving through the interstellar environment at about 30 km s. The Orion OB-1 group, which contains the stars of Orion's belt, was thrown from where it was born, resulting in a bow shock extending beyond four light years. Measuring the proximity of red supergiant stars like Betelgeuse is an infamously difficult job in astrophysics, as various elements hinder accurate diameter estimates. 
Moreover, since it's a pulsating star, Betelgeuse's size varies over time. This characteristic, alongside the dimming of its outer edge, causes its observed glow to shift in color and diminish as we view it further from its core. Additionally, the shell of material expelled by the star plays a vital part in light emission and absorption, influencing our understanding of its brilliance as well. Betelgeuse's visible size changes depending on the wavelength seen, making it difficult to contrast two views of it directly. These measurements can change by up to 35% based on the part of the light spectrum employed. In July 2009, the European Southern Observatory released visuals taken with a very large telescope, VLT interferometer on its ground-based observatory, revealing a massive plume of gas stretching up to 30 astronomical units from the star's surface, one of many mass ejections seen from Betelgeuse. This outflow matched the angular distance between the Sun and Neptune. At least six such events have been found around Betelgeuse. These occurrences might reveal clues to the question of mass ejection in the concluding periods, of massive stars, which may be central to their destruction. The complicated processes within Betelgeuse's extended upper layers remain puzzling, as does the exact method by which red supergiants cast off their matter. Such stars are fundamental to the circulation of elements within galaxies, and due to progress in interferometry, astronomers are approaching solutions to these riddles. In 2019, scientists employing the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories found that Betelgeuse had blown off a considerable portion of its outer shell, triggering a substantial surface mass ejection, SME. Though the Sun creates solar mass ejections, Betelgeuse's events were thousands of times more extreme, with this theme flinging out material 400 billion times the mass of a typical solar eruption. This accounts for why Betelgeuse suffered a steep drop in luminosity in October 2019. It had decreased from magnitude 0.5 to magnitude 1.7 by the middle of February 2020, having lost nearly three times its brightness. By February 17, 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness had stayed largely constant for more than a week. On the 5th, it looked like the dimming had stopped entirely. However, because there were no notable changes, the recent decreases in visible light were not associated with a possible collapse of the core. On February 24, 2020, infrared radiation was recorded. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment. Area. If you appreciated this video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe so you won't miss future content like this. When Betelgeuse ultimately detonates as a supernova, it will be among the most dramatic cosmic occurrences ever documented. Even at a distance of 640 light years, the blast will be so radiant that it could outshine the full moon and even be seen during daylight for several weeks or even months. According to experts, the supernova will produce more energy in a few seconds than our sun will produce for 10 billion years. The illumination from the explosion will speed through space and eventually reach Earth as a brilliant pinpoint of light unlike anything we've witnessed before. But rest assured, we are entirely safe. Betelgeuse is far enough away that the detonation will not harm Earth's biosphere or living things, despite the fact that a supernova that is this close may sound dangerous. What it will do is present an extraordinary scientific occasion. As of the last few years, Betelgeuse has returned to typical brightness levels, but its irregular dimming patterns are still under intense observation. Space telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and land-based interferometers like the VLT and ALMA are being utilized by scientists. They're tracking surface light fluctuations, patterns in convective activity, and continual mass outflows that seem to reflect the star's instability. One well-supported theory is that one such eruption resulted in a huge cloud of star-borne dust that temporarily obscured the star's light from our perspective, causing Betelgeuse to significantly fade. Grasping the mechanisms behind Betelgeuse could assist astronomers in decoding the life phases of gigantic stars, particularly those close to undergoing a supernova, 
Such insights could help forecast similar phenomena in other galaxies, explain how chemical elements enrich the cosmos, and detail the formation and scattering of elements like iron and gold throughout space. Betelgeuse is effectively a ticking cosmic timepiece, and it's winding down slowly. It may explode tomorrow, next year, or in 100,000 years. However, whenever it does, it will present a galactic spectacle as well as an unparalleled quantity of scientific data.